Okay, you ready? So what we need to do is take a chair like this, where you've got a sort of construction principle, and turn it into a chair that can actually be sat on, so we can think about the ergonomic principles uh, and, and fit within that sort of human template before we actually proceed with any further structural development. So by using the graph paper, you can simply work within the, the um, proportions we established last week. That chair, the chair that we measured against was... Um, 430 mil deep, 420 mil high. Okay, looking at this from the side. And by using the graph paper, you, 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 you don't have to get a ruler, you can just get straight onto it. And at the base, which is important, it was 500 mil wide, so we've got that stability so you're not going to fall backwards off the chair. We've then got the seat back here, and that means that only this, this front bit here has to be within this. Okay, so at this on the side, it doesn't have to fit exactly into that, but let's say we take the, the curve that you've got here, and then this, this back element, and maybe that's the kind of principle that you're going to go with. Maybe you don't like that very much, but, but that's just getting the, the, the basic sort of requirements, ergonomic requirements with this chair. That might not be what you envisaged first off. So let's try and go back to that and develop it some more. So you've got your basic ergonomic template for the chair to work in. So if you want to get this big bulbous uh, effect at the top, Perhaps we do something a bit more like that. But all the while, keeping it within that basic ergonomic template to get your design. So that's going to be that's a, a hollow form there. But what that does mean is that the chair is now over 600 mil deep because we've had to extend beyond the base to accommodate this. So that's something to consider. It might not necessarily be a huge problem, but if it was a restaurant chair, that would be in terms of the, the space that the chairs take up. But you know, let, let's see how we can work around that and now develop this design to make it a bit more viable. Looking at it from the front, being on graph paper, you can simply project that across in the same way that you do on a, on a technical drawing. And last week, I think we said um, 450 wide work on that, project that across, across there, and think about whether we can vary, whether, whether you want it just from the front, um, eleva front elevation just to be a, a simple oblong, or whether you want to actually start to um, taper anything, or have it going out more, to, to, get, to simplify that kind of bulbous shape at the top, whether you need to actually have a, a sort of small gap there to help with the way that the chair sits on the floor. Okay, and actually all the other details that you want to put into this. So all this does, all this does, this drawing does here, is just establish the the, the proportion as related to ergonomic, uh, to the ergonomics. Okay, it's important that you've got to work within those terms before we actually proceed with the development of form beyond that. Okay.